Okay, so any where do you want to go to a tzaddikim? If you want your prayers to be accepted quickly, it's in the middle of the month, the 15th of the Jewish month, or the eve of Rosh Chodesh. Okay, so Chodesh Tevet, we always, Be'ezrat Hashem, we give the combination of the name of Hashem. Arizal asks, why do the children of Israel daven and their davening pray and their prayers are not always answered? And he says because they don't know how to, uh, to visualize uh, uh, the right and to have the intention of the right combination of the name of Hashem for that month. And we said there are two names that are divided to 12 
combinations, the name of Hashem Yud Kei Vav Kei, the name of Hashem of mercy, and the name of Hashem of Tshuva, of repentance, which is Eye Asher Eye. Okay, so it has 12 combinations. For the month of Shvat, Tu Bishvat. Tu Bishvat, the Siyata Dishma is a Ramash Pot. So for the month of Shvat, it comes from Parashat Kukotai, the Arizal says, and it's Hamer Yamirenu Vayahu. So it's the first letters of the, the first letters of the words. This is the combination of the name of Hashem for the month of Shvat. Okay, so it's Kuf. I'm writing Kuf instead of Hey. And then the letter Yud, and then the letter Vav, and then again the letter Kuf. And this is the name of Hashem of mercy. And the name of Hashem of repentance is Kuf. And then the letter Aleph, the letter Yud, and again Kuf. Okay, when we say Tfilat Shmona Yisrael on Musaf Shorosh Chodesh, we say over there, Baruch Atah, in the middle of Musaf Shorosh Chodesh, we say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Mekadesh Yisrael Barashem Chodeshim, Blessed are you Hashem, that sanctifies the children of Israel on the first days of the month. When we say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Blessed are you Hashem, we pose, we don't speak, we don't say the letters in our mouth, but we just visualize the letters. Okay, we visualize it by, by this, the visual, we, we visualize the combination of the name of Hashem, both names, and by this we open channels of, of abundance of blessings in, for marriage, for children, for parnasa, for income, for everything that we want, Bezat Hashem, not only for us, but for Klal Yisrael and the whole world. Okay, so this is, so Shvat, look, what a beautiful month, Bezat Hashem. Shvat is the Rashi Tevot, it's the initials of Shamrem Barachem Tarem, that Hashem will keep us safe, bless us, and keep us pure, Bezrat Hashem. Shenit Baser Sorot Tovot, that we will have good news. Amen. This is Shvat, the month of Shvat. And look how beautiful it is. Shefa, abundance of blessings. Simcha, happiness and peace. This is the sheen of Shvat. Wow. And then Bracha, blessings. And then Tova, goodness, Bezrat Hashem, that Hashem will bestow upon us. Wow. And then Bezrat Hashem, everybody that needs a good Shiduch, Shiduch Agun, Bezrat Hashem, Shiduchi marriages. Bezrat Hashem, Shiduch, Sorot Tovot. So Bezrat Hashem, Hashem will marry up Klal Yisrael, Bezrat Hashem. And all of the soldiers that are also lo meshudachim, Hashem will give them shiduk v'siyat adishma. Everyone. So this is the initials, just to have a a, a, a small smile on our face. Bezrat Hashem. So I would like to tell you. It says in Besefer Etzia in the book of creation. It says over there that is that is regarding to Abraham Avinu. He says that the letter tzadik himlich or tzadik. So Hashem put the letter tzaddik on the month of Shabbat, which this already shows us that this is a special month, the month of Shabbat. Because tzaddik is geula. Tzemach te'atzmiach. Tzemach is the name of Mashiach. We say that in Tfilat Shemona Esre. Tzemach starts with tzaddik. This is the name, one, one of the, we refer to Mashiach with Tzemach in Tfilat, in Tfilat Shemona Esri, we say that. Tziyon b'mishpat tipadeh v'shabeh b'tzdaka, which means Tziyon b'mishpat tipadeh v'shabeh b'tzdaka, that Tziyon will be redeemed. Look how beautiful it is. Tziyon is going to be redeemed by charity. Tziyon tipadeh b'tzdaka v'tziyon... Which means Tzion is going to be redeemed by judgment, and all of the children of Israel come back by charity that Hashem is going to do with us. How does Hashem do charity with us? It's measure for measure. The charity that we do with each other, it's not only charity with money or clothing or food. It's charity, the, the biggest charity that we can do also is with our mouth. If we do charity with money, or clothing or food, we are blessed with by six with six blessings from Hashem. It's the Masechus Baba Batra. I think it's page nine or ten. It's written over there. We blessed with six blessings. But when we give a good word to each other with all of our hearts, 
כי כמים לפנים, כמים, כמים לפנים לפנים כן לב האדם לאדם. Because like we see our reflection in the water, this is how one heart of a person is towards the other heart. The heart, the heart of the other person, which is we feel if a person is true, or you know, it's a foolish thing, it's not true. <laughs> so we need to be true with, this, with, with each other. And know that after a long and good life, Bezat Hashem, when we stand in front of, court of in the court of heaven, Hashem shows us everything, and there's no politics. He shows us our intention. And we can't say it's not true. We already signed every night when the soul goes out, when we are asleep, it's one sixtieth of death. Part of our soul goes up to heaven, gives judgment over everything that we did and every word that we took out of our mouth. Bruch Every word that we took out of our mouth. So we can't say, Hashem, you're not right. Of course it's right. So we are judged. There's no, please come and sit. We blessed in Enoch ben, ben Rachel. Noah. Okay, Noah Ben Rachel. Is it Noah? Noah. Poor Diane Emmett passed away. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, a couple of hours ago. Who? Who? Somebody who was a part of my family circle. Oh, so, so now it's Noah Ben Rachel. Noah. Noah. בן רחל, עליו השלום תשעו את עצרו בצורה אחרת. ברוך דיין השלום. אז עכשיו נשאלים כל הנטיונות הן בפני השם, השם לא זהב. And know that the ones that will stay at the end of days is when we are true with our mouth, our mouth and our hearts are even. Okay? So I would like to tell you the consternation of the month of the month of Shvat is Aquarius, Mazal Bli. And Aquarius is the constellation of the children of Israel. Now you'll tell me, in Masechet Shabbat in the Gemara, says, En Mazal Yisrael, page Kuf Nun Vav, 156. It says over there, En Mazal Yisrael. The children of Israel don't have constellation, they're above the constellation, okay? But know that we have the co constellation, which is a bucket. Aquarius, leaf, and the, the, that's why, you know how beautiful it is, Abraham Avinu, we see Chaye Sarah, he says to Eliezer that he's his servant, go and find a wife for my son. Go back to my family and find a wife for my son. And what does he tell him? When, when he goes there, what, what does Eliezer think? Eliezer says to himself, okay, Hashem, the woman that will take her bucket, bucket, mm -hmm. daika, this is the bucket. Why? Because a bucket is a servant of water. Water is Torah. Oh, the prophet says that the Torah is water. Okay, it's spiritual water. We can't live without water. So, dear ladies, he tells, he says to Hashem, Hashem, the one that will bring a bucket and give me water, and she will say, not only for you, I will give also for your livestock that you have with you. This is the woman for Yitzchak. Why? Because she is the woman that, that the children that she will bear will love Torah and study Torah. Look how beautiful it is. How did Moshe Rabbeinu find his wife? He was next to the well. He held them with the buckets to take water for Tzipora and her sisters. How did Yaakov Avinu find his wife? Yeah. He came to the well. He took the stone away. And he took, and the water came up and he took with a bucket and gave the, the sheep. So this is how beautiful it is because the constellation of the children of Israel is Lee. But Very no, the we Aquarius. My son's birthday. Okay, so, but know that we are above the constellation when we behave as the children of Israel. What does it mean? We promised Hashem, like Hashem promised us, we said, Naseh Venishma. We are going, we are going to do, which means we're going, we're going to practice your commandments, we're going to follow your commandment, mamash, to do it physically, and we are going to listen. Okay, we're going to listen. No, in this merit of an seven Ishma, we are eliminating Ishmael, mm -hmm. all of the influence of Ishmael and Esau. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Because Naase, you see, Naase is comes from the root of Esav. Esav is Ase. To do. Esav was already made. When he was born, Esav, he was already totally made because he had teeth, he had hair, he was already once he, he was born. He was supposed to be called Asui, that he was all, you know, complete because a, a, a baby that comes, a, a, a newborn baby doesn't have teeth, we have to wait, and his hair, you know, goes, um, uh, falls out, and then he has a, 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 a different um, a set of hair, uh, but this Esav was already completed. So he's called Asui. So once we do the commandments, we, we take away the influence of the sun from us. And then, when Ishma is Ishmael, you see, Nishma, Shama. You see how we, once we listen to a Torah lesson, we, we read Perek Shira, Tehillim, we read the Torah, we listen in the Shul, all of this, we listen, okay? All of this, we, we, Mamash eliminate the influence of Esav and Ishmael. Esav is Galut Edom. We are in the exile of Edom. We are waiting for it to be finished. And Ishmael is not for exile. Ishmael is for redemption. Ishmael, because he's Klipa de Chesed, that he's from the unpurity of, of mercy, of kindness, he's the jumping step for Mashiach to come. Oh Ishmael God. is mamash, no, that because you see Ishmael all over the world, no Mashiach is here. If this prophecy wouldn't have come, because uh, true, I, I told you this several times, that's why at the end of Chayei Sarah, after uh, 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 Eliezer uh, brings Rivka to Yitzchak, and we see all of the presidents of Ishmael, the 12 presidents, the Al Kol Nafal, it ends that he is going to be all over the world, but then he's going to fall. And immediately after that, the Elef Oldot Yitzchak ben Abraham. This is the descendants of Yitzchak, the, the, the son of Abraham. You understand? We are mamash at the end of times. So, so Bo is the care. Let's look, Ben Abraham. What does Nei Safar say about this? So we said, the end my Mela Torah, there's no water, that's why we, our constellation is a bucket, but I told you we are above the constellation when we behave as children of Israel. As the children of Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Sarah, When we follow the Torah, when we follow the commandments, when we are kind to each other, the Siyad Adishmaya, and then we are above the constellation. Nobody can do anything to the children of Israel when we are united. When we are one fist, okay, we are considered Pikud Ha'oref. How do you say Pikud Ha'oref? I forgot. Pikud Ha'oref, the people who are not going to be in the war. The people who are in the house. They are the soldiers that go in and fight, but they are the ones that are, you know, are not Reserve, fighting. On reserve. Reserve. Yeah. All of us, it's Pikud Ha'oref it's called. I don't, it's okay. something, I think. Okay. No, I don't remember how you say that. But anyway, this is called Pikud Ha'oref, all of, like us. We are not there fighting, okay, mm -hmm. we are here. Our job is, our job is to show support of our soldiers, support of the, of the, of the state of Israel. Our job is to be united as one fist. That nobody will think that anything can break this fist. We are all one. It's not only the job of the Jewish people, but it's the job of all good people all over the world. Either, the, either they are Muslims or Christians, that's the job, in order to fight evil. In order to fight evil, we need to be one fist. All of us. Because this is the world that Hashem created. It's His world. And when He created, after He created the whole world, He took Adam. And before he put him in, in, in the Garden of Eden, he, he showed him all of the world. And he says, look how beautiful I created this world. Look at the trees, everything, all the smells, and all the colors, different kinds, kinds of fruits, vegetables, beautiful world. Hashem says, all of this is for you. See to it that you don't ruin my world. Don't ruin my world. The only way that we won't ruin 
Hashem's world is by having three character traits. One of them, Zachna'a. The second one, Ze'anava. And the third one is Irat Hashem. Okay, the first one is Achna'a, which means we need to um, gain so, surrender. Okay, we need to surrender ourselves to Hashem, to the will of Hashem. This is what Hashem wants, this is what we want. We don't listen to the evil inclination. What does the evil inclination cause us? That we want to look at me, 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 and again me. I, 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 and again I. What I want, what I need. You understand? This is the, the, the job of the evil inclination because when the evil inclination tests us and we overcome the evil inclination, we are elevated spiritually to a higher place. Not only us, the whole Klal Israel, all of the children of Israel, but the whole world with us. And by this also, all of the souls that passed away, they are elevated with us by the fight that we have with the evil inclination. So first of all, we have to surrender to Hashem. By surrendering to Hashem, say, I want to do the will of Hashem. Please, but you, you can't do it because the evil inclination is from fire. It's, it, you, you can't do this. What do you do? You ask from Hashem. Hashem, please, I want to do your will like you want me to do your will. Help me do that. And when you ask this in the way that the person wants to go, Hashem opens the path for him. So this is the first thing that we need to ask. The second thing is humbleness. Okay, only when we surrender to Hashem, I need a... Is it a daf in Chok? Can maybe from there. Okay, the second, the second thing is humbleness. How do we get to humbleness? So, Arizal says, beautiful thing. The word shuva, the word itself, shuva, shows us the way how to repent. Okay? So let's see, what does it show us? The, the, we go to the top, the first letter, the top. Tamim teim Hashem elokecha. Be um, true, heart-worthy, true with Hashem your God. This is the first thing from uh, the portion of Shoftim, uh, chapter 18, verse 13. Tamim tiyei Mashem elokecha. I'll put it in another time. Tamim tiyei Mashem elokecha. This is the first thing. This is the, because when you're honest with Hashem, because Hashem anyway, there's an eye that sees and ears that listens, and all of our actions are written in the book. Hashem knows everything. And again, I'm, t I'm reminding us that when we stand in front of the court of heaven, there's no politics. עצור תמים פעלו כחוד דרכיו משפט, אלה אמונה בין עוול צדיק וישר הוא. The judgment is true. So first of all, it's hard worthy to be honest with Hashem and His people. תמים תהיה עם Hashem אלוקיך. The sheen over here is שיביתי Hashem ונגבי תמיד in order that we won't sin. We need to see Hashem always in front of us, to remember that Hashem sees everything. Everything, you know, this is a, a, an illusion when we think that Hashem doesn't see, even if we are, if, if we are in a room with, uh, with four walls. Why? Because the soul is from Hashem. So it's, you understand, we are just fooling ourselves. The soul that we have is from under the throne of Hashem. It's from Hashem. So Hashem, of course, knows everything. Just because we have a clothing of a body, and so the body co causes us, the evil inclination, to think that nobody sees and knows every word that we say and everything. But Hashem knows everything, everything that we do. So this is Shiviti Hashem and Tehilim chapter 16, verse 8. Then the Bab is Ba'avta Racha Kamocha Ani Hashem. This is Parashat Kedoshim. This is you should love your fellow human being like you love yourself. How can we love others like we love ourselves? This is very easy. Hillel says about this, whatever you don't want others to do to you, you don't do to others. Period. You don't want to other I, 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 people to degrade you, you don't degrade other people. You don't want people to shout at you, you don't shout at other people. 
Anything that you don't want that people will do to you, you don't do to others. This is very simple. From this you come to love others like you love yourself. Okay? And then we come to the bed. The bed is Bechol Drachecha De'eu. Okay, this is from Mishlech King Solomon, says chapter 3, verse 6. In all of your ways you should know Hashem. What do you mean? Which means in everything that we, before we drink, we say the bracha. After, after we drink, we say the, the after bracha. Everything, we, we went uh, to the toilet, we say a bracha when we go out. We do netilat yadayim and we say, the, uh, we say the bracha. We wake up in the morning, modani, and we do netilat yadayim. We buy a house, we do chanukat abayit, the, the dedication of the house, the celebration when we bought the house, we put a mezuzah. Everything that we do, we do, uh, we know Hashem in every, in every way, that, uh, in everything that we do during our life. Anything. We do the laundry, we say, Hashem, please, see that our children will have the smell of the Torah, Bezrat Hashem. Let, them, let the, the character traits be good, Bezrat Hashem. Everything that we do, we remember Hashem. We go, to shop, we go shopping, Hashem, please remind us everything that we don't have to go again. Two times. <laughs> to go again to see what we forgot. We need a parking, Hashem, please help us find us a parking. We have an interview, Be'ezrat Hashem, Hashem, be amal. See that we have a nice person interviewing us. Give us the chen chesed, your light, in order that we will have, Be'ezrat Hashem, good news. We go to the doctor, we say, Hashem, please give us a good messenger, the right doctor. Okay, that the angel Raphael is next to him. So everything that we do, in every way we should know Hashem, in everything that we do. And then the hey, which means be modest with Hashem. Be modest with God. Modesty. Modesty is not only by clothing. Modesty is with our mouth. I already told you, we are learning it every Thursday, by guarding our tongue. Even if we make faces, okay, facial expressions about people, this is already slandering. To be modest is to, to be nice to others, to handle ourselves modestly in every way, to, to be dressed modestly. You know, if we as women, all of us, would have been dressed modestly, and all of us would put a mitpachat rosh, or a, a hat, all of our hair inside, all of us, women, immediately Mashiach would be revealed with mercy. Immediately. All of us. All of us. Listen, why? Because tzarich mesirut nefesh. We need devotion to do something that is above, that is very hard for us to show Hashem in order to change the measure of judgment in heaven to the measure of, of mercy. And the He is also Hikon Likrat Elokecha Yisrael. Amos the prophet says in chapter 4, verse 12, Hikon Likrat Elokecha Yisrael. Okay, children of Israel, we should be waiting, Bezrat Hashem, for our God because we are waiting for the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of, the king, of King David, and Bezrat Hashem, the building of the third temple. So by doing all of this and humbling ourselves, we come to anava. Anava. Anava is humble. Uh, is humbleness. Okay. No. Ayin is seventy. Nun is fifty. Vav is six. He is five. How much is it together? One thirty-one. Okay. One thirty-one. Nechon. This is exactly the numerical value of the evil inclination. Samach is 60, Mem is 40, together it's 100. And then we have Kel, Aleph. I'm writing, instead of this, it's Aleph is one. Lamed is 30, together it's 31. And this is 131. If we have humbleness, Hashem helps us to conquer the evil inclination. He can't touch us if we are humble. And once we have humble, we, are, we really have the fear of Hashem. We come to the fear of Hashem. So we ask from Hashem, Hen belibi, give me in my heart that I will be, that I will surrender myself to you. 
that I will be humble. What does it mean to be humble? It means not to be jealous by, from, by anyone, because you know that everything that we need, Hashem gave us. We should be happy with what we have. This is our fixing. Adaba, we just need that the, the jealousy of scholars will 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 cause increase in wisdom. Why? Because we want to be, uh, elevate our soul to a higher spiritual place. So this is what we need to do. So look at the constellation of the children of Israel. Um, I'm, I'm wiping this. I'm wiping it. Yes, Pikud Aorot is home front command, and we all home front command. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I, rem I remembered home. I didn't remember that. Okay, girls, let's continue with that Hashem. Know that Hashem is with us, and He never left the children of Israel. He will never leave us. Because Kutcha Berichu Oraita B'Israel Chadu. Hashem and the Torah and the children of Israel are one. So look at the constellation of Gli, okay? This is Aquarius. I'm going to write Gli, which means Dalet, and then Lamed, and then Yud. Dalet, Dalet is four, and Lamed is 30, Tav is 400, it's 434. Then Lamed is again 30, Mem is 40, Dalet is, is 4, together it's 74. Yud is 10, Vav is 6, and the Dalet is 4, together it's 20. How much is it together? It's 528. Okay, you know what 528 is? Look how beautiful it is. This is how Hashem, we are about the constellation. So Galgal, Galgal means a wheel. It means the planets. Okay? This is the Galgal. Gimel is three. Lamed is 30. Another Gimel is three. Another Lamed is 30. It's together 66. Multiplied by eight is 528. There are seven planets. Okay? That influence this world. This is how she created. 66 multiplied by eight. Sorry? Why by eight? Because it's exactly 523. Aquarius. Okay? So it's exactly 528 is the Aquarius in Hebrew. What does it mean? Okay? The seven is the seven planets. We are above. This is the eight. You remember I told you? It's two eyes. The number eight, seven is nature. Nature is Elohim. Okay, Elohim in, in numerical value, God in, in Hebrew, Elohim is the, the name of judgment. Okay, this is eight. That's this eternity is, also. Yes, it's eternity, it's above nature. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven is nature. Elohim, 86, is equal, equals Hateba, nature. When the children of Israel study Torah, follow the way of Hashem, and are united, we are above nature. No eye, no tongue, no one can control us. Nothing, only Hashem. Only Hashem, we are above nature. The constellation of the children of Israel is Aquarius, the Siyat Adishmael, because, like I told you, it's a bucket, and a bucket, the Siyat Adishmael, is to take water, to draw water. Water is the Torah. Because we, without Torah, are not called alive. So our livelihood is from the Torah, and that's why Rabbi Nachman Mibreslev says, what is, um, what is the main thing, Ikara uh, Tshuva, the main thing of pretending? When we hear that people degrade us, we listen, but we don't answer back. Dear ladies, if something like this happens to you, just ask Mashiach at that time. <laughs> just immediately ask Mashiach. Because Aolam Omed al Blima, the world is standing on the people who do not answer back. When they have a, a confrontation and they don't answer back. 
Okay, so remember the siyata dishmaya, this is what we came to do, and, that, and how do we repent? First, we have to acknowledge the things that we didn't do right. You understand that if we do this in this world, we have a big merit, because then when we go to the true world, to the world to come, then we come to go to paradise. We don't have to be judged over the things that we did, we, because we confessed. We already uh, we, uh, recognized everything that we did wrong towards Hashem and His children. Then charata. The second thing is charata. Charata is, is feeling regret over what we did. Hashem, what did we do? We're so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. What did we do? The third thing is aziva. Hashem, I don't want to repeat this. So I'm, which means I'm leaving the sin and I'm not going, to, I don't want to repeat it. Then viduit barim, this is a mitzvah taseh, viduit barim is to confess by, say, by saying the words. We have to, by words, to confess over what we did. And why is it so important? Because when we didn't listen to Hashem, because everything is written in the Torah, we wipe part of the letters of that, of that commandment. By confessing, we are filling up the letters of that command and we are fixing it in heavenly worlds. Can you imagine? By saying the words. Because once we say the word, like in Tehillim, we say the words in Tehillim, but we move our lips. Why? Because then we, we, uh, uh, we cause a part of letters and each letter is combined of different letters. And each letter is a, an angel. If we could have seen this, we wouldn't st stop saying Tehillim. We'll say it all the time. The healing, the, uh, uh, the Torah will study. We, we perek shira, everything, shira shirim, everything will do. Why? Because we have seen all of the angels, but we can't see because there's freedom of choice. And then after we do it, barim, there's kabbalah lati. I accept upon myself in the future, not to repeat it. And Hashem help, but it's always with the help of Hashem. We always have to ask Hashem to help us. That we will, that we're accepting upon ourselves, but we need Hashem's help, not to repeat that sin and to do His will by surrendering to Him, by being modest, and by having the fear of Hashem. Let's bless Bezrat Hashem that we will all have a school to greet Mashiach to Tenu Barchavim Moim Dibrabi Amen Amen El Yom Nami Zakhu Latov Olam Yiparid Adam Mechaberu Midbar Alachay Achid Berabim Alachay Kerabim Achenu Kol Bet Yisrael Anetunim Batzar Vashviya Amdim Ben Bayam Uben Bayabasha Hamakom Yerachem Alem Biyatzer Mitzara Lirvacha Umeafelal Oram Mishibud Legula Hashta Beadlo Mizman Karib Yimru Amen